Welcome to the toilet demonstration of energy management system for small scale hybrid wind solar battery based micro grid. In this project, we are using wind and wind generator and also 2 volts 1 amp battery, LCD display, charging circuit, and here also these are two charging circuits or three. These are the three charging circuits, or we can call as a rectifier also, and also using step down transformer. Here we can see one, two, three. These three are the voltage sensors. One is for monitor the battery voltage, another is for the so wind, and another is for the solar. So here we can see this is for the wind and this is for the solar voltage sensor. So here we can see we have connected the solar and wind connections to this charging circuit. And also here we can see we are using the uh, relay and pick microcontroller and also using 705 voltage regulator so the main aim of this point is to charge this battery through solar and wind and also we can charge this battery through electrically so the monitor and also if the battery voltage become low then this relay will be get switched down then automatically it will be charged through this uh, solar and wind so the, this, this is the main of this project and now we will see how it will be works so first of all we need to on the power supply this one so we can see this displaying welcome to the project after that so here we can see wind voltage battery voltage solar voltage also so now it is changing so it is a 16 to 16 by 2 display that's why it is showing only two values after that another one value is coming with delay so here we can see wind battery and solar so now we, we have removed this connection to this voltage sensor then it will calculate as a voltage become zero that's why this relay get switched on if i place this one here then automatically relay will get switched off because voltage sensor gives the ratings of this battery voltage then it will calculated as a 12 then automatically this relay will get switched off if the battery voltage become less than 8 8 volts then automatically this relay will get switched off then switched on so through wind energy and solar energy power will be given to this battery pack so here we can see this generator generated DC power that DC power is given to this charging circuit and the solar power panel is generating a DC power that DC power is connecting to this rectifier and also here we can see these two connections are given to this relay so when it is in on position then only this battery will get switched off through the through these two sources when it is get switched off when this generated voltage will not go to this battery and also we are using another power supply to charge the battery so here we can see it is taking 230 volts of power supply from here through this power cable it, it, it gives to it takes 230 volts after that here we can see yellow and black wire so it give 12 volts of ac power supply so it will step down up to 230 volts to 12 volts that 12 volts will be given to this rectifier so we know the rectifier converts ac to dc then it is taking the input of ac and converting to dc that converted dc is 12 volts that 12 volts will be given to this battery pack so when we give the power supply here we can see light indication which means battery get charging and also one doubt will be raised in our mind that this is a rectifier it is converting ac to dc but again we are using here two rectifiers for this dc sources so th these are generating a dc but again we are giving to this rectifier because this rectifier it act as a voltage protect reverse voltage protector and polarity character that's why we are using here so if we rotate this one clockwise or anti-clockwise we can see also the voltage rating window voltage ratings and also light indication also so if you rotate positive side or if you rotate negative side then this rectifier 
correct the po po polarity and also if the battery pack become more than 12 volts then it will give a reverse voltage to this sources then this battery get damaged to even to protect that this this motor or how to prevent that damage we are using this rectifier because rectifier consists of diodes diodes allows only forward direction of current but it doesn't allow reverse direction direction of current at the same time if you can see solar panel is connected to the rectifier it is also a reverse voltage protector so if the voltage source become more then voltage will be come back to this solar panel so to so if the solar panel get a reverse voltage this solar panel will be get get damaged so to protect this one we need to use rectifier so rectifier opposes the reverse voltage of reverse voltage that's why we are using these two rectifiers and also here we can see voltage display here also In this way, this part will be works. Thanks for the watching.